Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you're back, welcome back. Today, I am here with a sneak peek unboxing from Diamond Art Club and one of their new releases this week. So thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending this over for me to share with all of you. Hopefully, this video helps you make a decision on if this kit should be on your shopping list for the weekend. I am ridiculously excited <laughs> for this particular kit. If you are already looking at it, then you know. But this comes from Diamond Art Club's more recent licensing agreement with Nickelodeon. And you guys, I about fell out of my chair when I saw that we were getting some Avatar The Last Airbender diamond painting kits and they're legally licensed. They're above board and all the things. I am so, so, so excited. So this particular kit, here is the original artwork. And the name of this kit is Eng, Katara, and Sokka. It's, I think, you know, pretty self-explanatory. But one of the things I love about these special licensed kits from companies like Nickelodeon, which here we've got Nickelodeon down here, um, is that we have lots of special branding on the box. So we've got obviously Avatar The Last Airbender here. It's gonna have square diamonds and the size is actually down here under the title. It's gonna be 98 by 70 centimeters or 38.6 by 27.6 inches. You can see kind of the diamond painting, the render is here on the side as well. Here is that original artwork once more. This is gonna have 58 colors, including four AB diamonds, over 100,000 total diamonds in this entire kit. Um, you can see on the back as well, we have info about uh, how diamond painting works and your kit contents, more fantastic branding. I was hanging out in the avatar state back here. Uh, again, the kit contents. And then here on this side, there's just a picture of the toolkit. And then here we've got Sokka. So let's go ahead and get into this. You guys, I have to be honest. I sat here and debated for a minute. I was like, wouldn't it be fun to open up this video being like water, earth, fire, air, Long ago, the four nations lived in harmony, <laughs> but all changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Now, I really thought about doing like the whole TV show intro. So obviously I'm a fan of the show. <laughs> that box is wanting to pop open a little bit. I am a huge fan of the show. I'm actually on my second or third rewatch at this point. I adore this show. It's one of those animated shows that I feel like you absolutely can every bit appreciate as much as an adult, as a child, or as you can, like as a child. <laughs> I adore this show. We pretend like the movie does not exist. I think we're in, in agreement <laughs> about that as a fan base. We agree that the, the live action movie does not exist, but the TV show, well worth the rewatch. I have not watched Legend of Korra yet, don't judge me, <laughs> but that is on my list here at some point. So here is a smaller sticker. You can use this in your paper logbook, which is what I will be doing. It has the name of the artwork. And while we don't get an artist's name because it is from a licensing agreement, um, it does let us know that this is licensed specifically from Viacom, which is like the parent company of Nickelodeon and Avatar The Last Airbender. So everything's above board. It has the diamond shape as well as the size for the canvas. And then we have a toolkit. You might get this toolkit. You might get an older version of the toolkit. There's not a hard and fast way to know which one you're going to get. Diamond Art Club is transitioning in these newer toolkits, so you'll probably see them more and more often with these new releases. But either way, whichever toolkit you're, you get, it's going to have everything you need to do your diamond painting. This has a basic pen and squishy. Your color may vary. Diamond Art Club square drill kits come with a pair of sharp pointy tweezers. Keep that guard on there when you're not using them. <laughs> uh, also comes with a caddy with a couple of plates of pink heart wax. Make sure you take off the thin plastic film on there before you try to load up your pen. We have a bag of baggies. You can store your leftover diamonds in these after or kit up into them even. You get a couple of thin plastic multi-placers in case you wanna try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. And then we have a boat or a tray for putting your diamonds into. Diamond Art Club has a couple of versions of this clear tray with gold sparkles, even in the newer kits. Uh, this is the one that's more see-through and it does come with this tray stopper. You pop that in there to help uh, prevent the diamonds from tipping out. 
And then these two are kind of the wild cards. <laughs> the style and print may vary, but this here, this is a cover minder. It has magnets on the back. You can use this by popping off the one magnet, slide it under the canvas in the area that you're working on, peel back the plastic cover, and then you can pop this down on top and it holds back the plastic cover for you. Just a nice little bonus goodie. And then this is a roll of washi tape. I like to use washi tape to cover up the border on my canvas just to prevent any dirt or dust from getting in that glue since it's not going to be covered by diamonds. I also like to use washi tape to section off my canvas into smaller sections to work on. I have a video dedicated to using washi tape on canvases like this if you're curious. Just a quick note though, make sure that if you do section off your canvas with washi tape, that goes on the plastic cover. It does not go directly on the canvas. You just lay it on top of your plastic cover as a guide. <laughs> so um, anyway, all the rest of the kit contents are going to be here in this plastic dust cover branded and all this was a big kit <laughs> this this is a big one you guys <laughs> so um we'll see how much we can get in frame here but oh my gosh yay i am so excited we get an avatar the last airbender kit which air temple are they at like i said i'm only on my second or third rewatch of the show so i am not quite as knowledgeable about all the lore as i'm sure some of you may be but <laughs> love it love it it's like a it's like a screen cap from from the show or something that's so fun okay so included with your kit is going to be a pamphlet that this has a thank you note from the founder on the front on the inside there's info about the kit contents this QR code will take you to a step-by-step -step video with instructions. I also have a beginner video that I'll link below if you're a visual learner like me. This QR code will take you to the VIP Facebook group. I definitely recommend joining this Facebook group once you've made your first purchase from Diamond Art Club. It's a fabulous resource and a really fun community. Here's some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you and then some tips and tricks here on the back. Here is one of many discount codes you're gonna see and hear about in this video. And then on the back, we have QR codes that'll take you to the mobile app on your respective mobile devices. You will get 20% off your first purchase through the app as well. Lots of discount codes, like I said. Also, if you're looking at making your very first purchase from Diamond Art Club and wanna save 20% off while also supporting my channel, I have a discount code that you're welcome to use. It's just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. Now full disclosure, I may make a small commission if you choose to use that. So please, please, please don't feel obligated. All I say is don't pay full price for Diamond Art Club. You're going to see lots of discount codes here. They always have some running on the website. Don't pay full price. They don't want you to save some money when you make your purchase. Here we have a larger sticker sheet, the title of the artwork, and Katara and Sokka by Viacom, Avatar The Last Airbender, a spot right your start and end date. And here's another look at that original artwork. So fun and then the size and the diamond shape. Over here is a set of pre-cut stickers. The color code that you see in the right column is the same as the DMC color code, which is used in cross-stitch or floss. Uh, and in Diamond Art Club's numbering system though, anything under the number 150 is going to be a special kind of diamond called an AB. We're gonna have four of those in this kit. I will tell you a little bit more about those when we're actually looking at the diamonds together here in just a bit. Looking at the symbols, we have 58 colors. Ecru, yes, I know. Um, that's just a particular shade of white that for whatever reason just gets called Ecru instead of having a DMC number. But just looking at the symbols, I, I see a couple that are similar. So for example, here we have a white arrow pointing to the right. Here we have a white arrow pointing to the left. Symbols like those can trip you up. So I recommend that when you're working on your canvas, uh, make sure that you have your uh, bags of diamonds or like your inventory sheet oriented the same direction as the way you're working on the canvas. A canvas this size, you'll probably spend some time working on it upside down or sideways. So just make sure you have the, the sticker flipped that same direction so you know that you've pulled the right color to place down. Um, but that's, yeah, that's what I would recommend doing with any symbols that really look similar to one another. We'll look at the diamonds here in just a bit, but look at that big bag of diamonds. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'd love to take a look at the canvas together, but at first you might see that this is wanting to not quite lay flat just yet. I'm going to help it along. Though Diamond Art Club's canvases do have a self-flattening feature and will eventually <laughs> lay flat on their own. 
I'm gonna help it along for the sake of this video and just to show you guys. So since this is a poured glue canvas, um, it is safe to roll backwards. If you're working with something like a double-sided adhesive canvas, do not roll it backwards. Please don't roll it backwards. That will cause huge problems with your glue. So anyway, that just helped it along a little bit. Now let me take you on just a little tour of the elements of the canvas. So bear with me because this is quite unwieldy since it's so large. <laughs> Here at the top, we have Diamond Art Club's branding, Do What Makes You Sparkle. You'll notice that the edges are scalloped and finished. You're not gonna have to worry about any fraying. The backs of the canvas are really soft, almost velvety to the touch. And the canvas material itself, it's a nice thick canvas and it's both sturdy and very malleable. And the glue that Diamond Art Club uses is this amazing quality poured glue. It actually has a little bit of sparkle and shimmer to it, like glitter in the canvas, there you can see it. Uh, but between the softness of the canvas and, there's a little speck in here, that may have been my fault when I was rolling it. Um, between this, the material on the canvas and the squishiness of the glue, it makes diamond painting on Diamond Art Club's canvases just very enjoyable and relaxing. <laughs> so I do, do love the really nice quality on those things. Here at the top left, we have a legend or key code. We have that same legend if we hop all the way over here at the bottom right. You can see some different parts of the canvas here as I move it around. Uh, here at the bottom left is all the information about the kit again, including the title, a thumbnail, the size 98 by 70 centimeters, and the licensing information. So I'm all about pointing out when companies like Diamond Art Club are doing right by artists and owners of IPs, especially really popular IPs like Avatar um, that you might often see stolen, that artwork being stolen. So I really appreciate the Diamond Art Club is doing right by artists and companies and legally licensing it. Here we've got links to Diamond Art Club's social media platforms. Be sure to follow them there to keep up to date with their new releases and another discount code. And then finally here at the bottom right <laughs> is information about their lifetime warranty. As long as you're the original owner and purchaser of the canvas, you're covered under that lifetime warranty. Um, that means that if anything happens with the canvas, as far as the glue, if you run out of diamonds or spill your diamonds and mix them up or anything at all, uh, let Diamond Art Club know and they will get you taken care of. I'm just trying to show you a little bit more of the canvas since it is so large. I love, love, love all these details. Taking a look, I'm seeing a good amount of color blocking, like oodles of color blocking up here, especially in the sky and the background. So color blocking is when you have areas like here where it's a big section, all of the same symbol, you'll be able to use your multi-placer in that area. You'll have that color in your tray for a while. So that'll go really quickly. Sections up here in the top have tons and tons of color blocking. So like up here, it's gonna go super fast. I know faces, especially like animated faces are tricky to render, but I'm having some mixed feelings about Aang's face a little bit. <laughs> Um, I think it's gonna look better when you pull back, but uh, lots of the yellows and oranges in his outfit, of course. Man, I'm having trouble with wrangling this canvas. It's big. <laughs> and then of course we have Sokka up here with his boomerang and everything. Um, and the blues in his outfit. And then of course we have Katara's over here water bending. The clarity on the symbols looks really good. I think you can even make out like her braids and everything, the little hair loopies. This just makes my avatar loving heart so happy. Oh my gosh, any fellow avatar fans in here? I feel like if you've stuck around to this point in the video, you probably are an avatar fan <laughs> or are at least curious. So, but I have to know. Have you watched the show? How many times have you watched the show through? Uh, do I need to watch Legend of Korra like as soon as possible? I hear mixed things, but anyway, let's focus on the canvas and the unboxing. So now I'd like to take some time and show you the diamonds. So there's a sticker on here that has the name of the kit so you can match it up easily if you do happen to store your diamonds separate from your canvas. But let's go ahead and get into these. Okay, 
have a little straggler pack over here, just all by its lonesome. Uh, so this first color, 726, is a pretty yellow. Again, Diamond Art Club. Um, this kit, rather, has square diamonds. It looks like we're going to have a couple of bags of 310, a couple of bags of 3371, a couple of bags of 644, 3078, 938. Now, Diamond Art Club did recently, well, I say recently, it's been a little while now. Uh, they, last year, they began manufacturing their diamonds in house. And especially their square diamonds, it's really easy to tell the difference between the old and new ones. The new ones are such high quality and really consistent in size, very little trash, really enjoyable to work with. And it it is easiest to tell the difference between the old and the new squares. Um, they did start manufacturing the rounds in house as well, but the squares are just easier to tell. 3855, I think that was at the end of the last strand. So we have six bags of this 3855. Yeah. But more on that in just a moment. First, here's our first AB diamond. Now, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And these diamonds get their name from the Northern Lights and the effect of the Northern Lights and how they sparkle and shimmer. These AB diamonds have an iridescent coating on the top that just, you see that crazy sparkle. It looks amazing. It's gonna catch your eye and draw your eye to the areas that's been charted. Um, it is gonna highlight those areas and pick up some of the colors of the diamonds around it as well. So this first really pretty taupe AB, we have a nice big bag of. I will be sure to show you where each of the AB diamonds in this kit go once we're done looking at all the diamonds together. Three bags of 822, 420, 3770. And here's our second AB. 134 is a really, really nice green AB. That sparkle is so good. Even on the new square diamonds, I feel like Diamond Art Club really changed up how they did the AB coating on the top. And it's so, so sparkly now. 904, 738. Um, you can tell whether or not you have the new square diamonds by looking at the tops. The new ones will all have 13 facets cut in the top. The old ones, you'll see a mix of nine and 13 facets cut in the top. So right off the bat in this strand, we have two bags of 125. Our next AB, it's kind of a sky blue AB. I think I actually saw this one earlier when I was looking and it's in the sky. So sky blue <laughs> seems rather appropriate. 895, 3864, 519, and then Ecru. Might be mispronouncing that. I have the feeling you guys will forgive me. 898, 400, 422, 825, 996, 842, 73, 648, 3843. That's a really beautiful deep blue. I bet that's in Katara and Sokka's um, outfits. And then our fourth and final AB 101. This is a light blue with just a hint of like a steel gray to it. Love the sparkle on those. It's a little bit more of a subtle AB, but I like this one a lot. So we've seen, we've seen all four ABs, but let's look at the rest of these colors in this smaller set of packets. 951, 632, 775, 356, 824, 779, 3787, 970 orange, bet that's an Ang's outfit. <laughs> 3810, 3799, 646, 947, 3347, 3809, 3064, 3808, 355, 3755, 3777, and 433. All right, let's take a look together at where we're gonna find those ABs. We're gonna start at the bottom and I'm gonna try to look carefully because I don't want to totally overlook them because this is a bigger canvas. So doing a little bit of highlighting here in these marks in the sand, there's just a little sprinkling of that taupe AB. Uh, a little bit of highlighting all throughout here. And as I come around over to this side, some of the taupe AB is all through, is through here. Actually, there's a good amount of the taupe AB over here, oh, you can't, not in frame. <laughs> over here, there's a good amount of the taupe AB in these rings. Yeah, just all throughout, like kind of highlighting and doing um, 
well, yeah, some highlighting throughout the rings. The rings aren't entirely the Taupe Baby, but there's quite a lot in there. So those are going to have a nice shimmery effect. Uh, taking a look in our main cast of characters here. So, um... Uh, Make sure I'm looking at that right. Yep. So Katara's her, her pants or her leggings and this the long sleeve part of her shirt. And over here on Sokka, wait, did I look at that right? Nope. I'm wrong. Ignore me. Scratch that. That's a T, not a one. I was like, that's kind of an odd place for an A B. Um it's the way that my lighting is set up. It's not the printing on the canvas. I'm looking at it from further away. Here we go though. Uh, Sokka's boomerang has some of that uh, grayish blue AB in it. That's more appropriate. <laughs> and let's see. So, and then Katara's the water that she's bending. There's some of the uh, sky blue AB actually through here. I don't, th and a little bit of the slate blue gray. So there's two different colors of blue ABs here in the water. And make sure I'm not missing any. Okay, and then in the greenery in the background, the lightest part, the lightest green that you're seeing in the trees and bushes in the background, that lightest almost lime green that you're seeing all throughout these bushes, trees, including, let me show you over here, in this particular tree, that lightest green, that is all the green AB. And then as we get up into the sky, um, I see so some of the sky blue AB back here, more of the sky blue AB right here. Make sure I'm not missing any. I don't know why my my lighting is just playing tricks on my eyes today. The light green that you see up here, the lightest green in those bushes is a green AB. And then, okay. moving over to this side, lots and lots and lots of the sky blue AB. It's kind of the, the bluish gray color that you see. It's more of like the sky behind and between these clouds is the sky blue AB. This is just a regular gray diamond. The lightest parts of the green on these vines crawling up this air temple structure. The lightest green is the green AB. We have a little bit more of the sky blue AB right here and right here and a little bit of the bluish gray AB, just a little bit highlighting in the top, in the roof here. And then, yes, yeah, so we have a little bit of the taupe AB highlighting in this arch. I really, I don't know why my brain is telling me that I must have missed some. Nope. Not that I'm seeing. Okay, well, a little bit. Yeah, I did miss. There's a little bit of the bluish gray AB right here. So um, there's not a ton in the main characters aside from kind of some of their, their more like main elements like Sokka's boomerang and the water there are some ABs. But in the characters themselves, like I don't think Aang has any ABs anywhere on him. Um, but you know what? That kind of suits the cartoon style of the artwork anyway. Like I said, it's almost like a still from the show. And so if you look at this artwork, the places that they have charted those ABs, again, some green highlighting in the bushes. Actually, yeah, that sky blue AB back in the background here, I think is going to be really, really nice. And then, yeah, like on the boomerang and in the water, those are areas that I think I agree that it makes sense to add a little bit of shimmer to. So, and I think that the little bit of taupe AB, which is a nice subtle AB that's in these rings, I think it's going to have a really pretty shimmery effect as well. So I love what I'm seeing, you guys. This is, again, this is Ang, Katara, and Sokka. I just remember that I did not take a measurement on this. And while Diamond Art Club is usually true to size, I'm going to go ahead and do that since I did remember. Um, this is a bigger kit, but I am seeing enough confetti that I do think that, 
or sorry, enough color blocking that I do think that parts of it will move along pretty quickly. Um, so I wouldn't let the size scare you away. <laughs> so we are measuring at a centimeter shy in each direction from the list of dimensions. I'm not worried about this because a lot of the more recent square diamond, uh, diamond painting kits from Diamond Art Club have been measuring a centimeter short because what Diamond Art Club did is they tightened up the drill field for their square drill kits because their, their new square diamonds are so consistent in quality and size that they didn't need to leave like that extra tiny bit of um, wiggle room just in case to avoid popping. I actually love the kits that have the slightly tighter drill field a lot, um, but they just didn't necessarily change their, their um, formula for calculating the dimensions because we're still getting the exact same number of diamonds it's within the margin of error uh it just is tightened up a little bit so yay excited for that like i said i really really love working with diamond art club's new squares and on the tighter drill field it just is super satisfying and enjoyable to work on so anyway this kit uh from avatar the last airbender it was licensed through viacom uh, from diamond art club this along with the other new releases are going to be released tomorrow which is saturday june 18th at 9 30 a.m pacific time or 12 30 p.m eastern time that's the general release time if you are in the diamond or ruby tier of the rewards program you'll get a half an hour early access beginning at 9 a.m pacific time or noon eastern time be sure to set your alarms diamond art club always holds back some stock for the general release so if this happens to sell out during the early release be sure to check back at general release time um we don't know ahead of time which kits are going to be limited edition if this kit is limited edition that means that once it sells out diamond art club will not be restocking it so i recommend if you want this kit <laughs> check in at release time and if it's limited edition i would recommend jumping on it so <laughs> uh, just a suggestion also even if it's not limited edition we don't know how long it will take to be restocked if it sells out so either way if you want this kit if you're an avatar the last airbender fan um i suggest jumping on this kit it looks like it's gonna have a really really beautiful finished effect i'm excited to work on it and i'm really excited to see what else we might have coming in the future from this licensing agreement so you guys i hope this video was helpful thank you for watching thank you to diamond art club for sending this over let me know if you have any questions about this kit i would be more than happy to help but otherwise have an amazing weekend if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful would you mind giving it a thumbs up before you head out and of course if you're not already subscribed and want to see lots more diamond painting content from me feel free to subscribe and you can hit the bell to be notified when i share new videos all right friends have an amazing rest of your day and i'll chat with you in the next one bye